Coolmaster sent over their Sidon 240V. It's a 240mm liquid cooler, it's a closed loop system. It's actually one of their cheaper ranges and it's actually one of their newer ones as well. In fact, it's just launched as of the, you know, this video going out, so let's take a look. So as you can see the specs of this include all of the uh, general CPU options you would expect. We're obviously unsure about AM4 and stuff like that which should be coming out reasonably shortly but uh, otherwise you can see all the specs if you want to go back and pause there. Inside the box you've got the cooler itself, two fans as well as a fan splitter and all the mounting hardware you'll need. Also one of the great things is that it actually includes uh, the mounting hardware for push-pull even though it doesn't include the fans for it. That's kind of a first and is actually really nice. The mounting hardware though is the same as the master are liquid and really isn't that great. I wish that they'd use the same mounting hardware as the Neptune series, but regardless, once it's on, it looks reasonably stylish and does a pretty good job, especially at idle temperatures, keeping uh, the A1060 at 7860K that I was using, even with graphics running at uh, around about 30 odd degrees. So that's pretty good, and I'll obviously talk about that in a little bit more detail in just a second. So, as I said, the mounting system feels like it's gone back a couple of generations. The Neptune range that they've had previously was fantastic. It worked worked brilliantly, it was very easy to install, you didn't need anyone's help, um, it was fantastic, but with this and the same ones, actually it's the same mounting system as the Master Liquid Pro that I uh, reviewed fairly recently. Um, the back plate basically has screws that go all the way through the motherboard and basically just hang there for the cooler to attach to. That means that uh, if your motherboard, if your case doesn't hold that back plate very tightly to the motherboard or you don't have someone there to help you and hold it there, when you try and attach the block and then use one of the ridiculously small nuts to uh, basically hold it in place, the back plate will fall out slightly and then you won't be able to get it in place and you have to be very sort of you know, finicky with it just trying to get it on properly. And as I said, the nuts are ridiculously small uh, and they only have a flathead uh, sort of groove in them. There's no space for a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, which is a little bit annoying for me as that's what I you know, generally use for pretty much everything. So um, yeah, it's, it is a little bit annoying. The overall mounting system um, is a little bit more simple than the Master, uh, Master Liquid as well, um, which is both a good thing and a bad thing, but obviously being the side and range, it is a little bit cheaper as well, um, which you also get to see with the tubing being uh, considerably thinner, which means uh, less volume unless you speed the water up which I think is the case because the pump is actually a little bit louder as well. Uh, and as I said, the fans didn't quite fit on for me. Again, that may just be something that um, is, you know, just a shipping defect or something rather than uh, something synonymous with the range. But um, yeah, I guess that's, that's kind of that really. I mean, in terms of temperatures, uh, I was using an Athlon, uh, not an Athlon, a A10-7860K, I believe, uh, with the GPU running as well to get some uh, heat output, and it uh, was idling around about 34 uh, degrees, which isn't too high above you know room temperature, which was good, uh, and under load, it was about 70-ish degrees, so again, not too bad either. It, pretty much similar to any of the other 240 uh, sort of radiator-sized coolers uh, that are 30 mil thick type things, so yeah, it does a good job, it's effective at cooling, it is a little bit louder on the louder side so uh, you might want to look at getting you know, a fractal type case with lots of sound deadening if you did want to pick one of these up. And uh, yeah, I guess that's kind of that really. Um, in terms of scoring, I'm going to go for a 3 for 5 money. It's definitely above average with average being 2.5 but um, yeah, otherwise it doesn't. It didn't quite blow me away. In fact, uh, okay, it might get a four there just because it is uh, decently cheaper than other alternatives. So I shall revise that. And that's a four. Uh, in terms of performance, I'm going to go for a four there as well. Uh, functionality, I'm going to go with a three. Styling, I'm going to go with a four. It's decent enough. It's got a blue LED in it, but um, it's not you know something that's going to blow you away in terms of styling. And Titan GB score, I'm going to go with a uh, three and a half. I think it's a decent cooler. It's definitely above average in terms terms of what I've experienced in the past. It's not the worst to install ever, but I really think Coolmaster could definitely improve by going back to the uh, Neptune style mounting system as it's much, much better. But uh, yeah, other than that, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, feel free to take a look at some of my other videos. I have plenty more, especially on liquid coolers and including many 240 uh, sort of sized ones too. 
And uh, yeah, other than that, if you want to pick this up, I'll leave a link to Amazon where you can pick it up uh, and help me out as well. And if you're buying anything else, including any other liquid coolers or CPUs or garden sheds, uh, then feel free to take a look at the Amazon links down below as well, as it genuinely does help me uh, keep these videos going and all that sort of stuff. Um, if you do want to help, but you don't buy stuff on Amazon, then feel free to subscribe and like. And uh, yeah, check us out on Twitter and Facebook as well. Feel free to hit us up and just say hello. And uh, yeah, other than that, um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. And we'll see you all in the next video.